Hey y'all, just posting a video here uh, to review the off-white mask. I noticed that there weren't a lot of videos on YouTube. Hey, it's just a lot of people just kind of uh, skimming through it and uh, not really getting into any details, pros, cons, or anything like that, which is what I wanted to do, uh, just in case, you know, now that they're kind of mandating these masks, um, not the off-white ones, of course, but just masks in general, um, you know, across the U.S. in certain cities, certain counties, uh, if anyone's curious about, you know, dropping over $100 on a face mask, I just wanted to post this video and hopefully it would help. I recently got this mask right here um, off of StockX. And, uh, you know, here's a little chip, the receipt. Uh, I got it uh, for 134 You know, I kind of slept on it uh, when prices were rising. Um, I could have gotten it for $100 and then they mandated it uh, across a few states. Price went up uh, almost double to two hundred dollars, and uh, then they went back down again towards like one twenty, one thirty. I went ahead and got it at one thirty four. I figured that was all right. Um, and uh, <clears throat> anyway, this isn't like an unboxing or anything. Here's the packaging it comes with, and little tag uh, papers and what whatnot. I mean, I've already worn it a few times, but you know there are some things I did want to share with you guys in case you guys were curious. Um, and you know, maybe y'all might want to, you know, seek something else. But anyway, here's the, here's the size of, uh, you know, just a, a regular face mask. You know, this one just, you know, the kind that, you know, you can see that it, uh, you know, fits flush across the face and, uh, you know, doesn't tug on the ears or anything. I don't know. My brother got this, uh, he lives in Korea, so he, he, he brought it, left it and, uh, you know, it ended up coming up in handy. Now anyway, in comparison, here's the, uh, how it fits in comparison to the off-white one. You can see that the panel for the off-white one is a lot, a lot bigger. I had seen the pictures of the guys, you know, modeling them on, uh, on Google. You know, I'm pretty sure you could see the picture of the model wearing it. And you could, you know, you could see some excess right here along the, the jawline. But I thought that was just because the guy was very thin, you know. And, you know, while I am thin, I'm th I don't know if I'm, like, you know, model thin or anything like that. But... Anyway, uh, with this particular mask, you know, here's the front, here's the back with the tags. You know, you, I put it on, and it's very big. You can see the the excess right here. It could fit two fingers. It's it. You know, I I don't know. I mean, I, I have long hair. Usually, I could you know wear my hair down or whatever you know, to kind of cover up this excess. But I, I I haven't figured out a way to make it look right. And I don't know if you could tell a difference from when I put this one on and uh, started talking, but the, the tag here gets in the way. It essentially covers up one entire nostril. You know, here's the, the tag. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna put it on kind of reverse, but you could see here that here's my nostril right here. So when I'm breathing, it, it's harder to breathe. It, it actually feels a little bit more comfortable right now. But that you know it's not covering up a nostril talking in it you know it kind of tends to hit my mouth a lot and um you know i mean i obviously i kept it you know the the size was definitely uh something to you know consider but uh you know i guess i'm happy with the purchase you know it's just uh you know definitely a lot bigger than i expected a lot bigger um it's it's definitely tight around the ears you know I, I tend to have like a long long profile you know i have like a like a longer nose you know longer jawline and uh this does tend to you know tug it, it hasn't gotten to the point where it's like been uncomfortable i've probably worn it for um maybe about an hour tops but i, I just wanted to let y'all know that you know it, it does fit big um uh, the the pictures of what you see you know the models wearing online is is accurate uh, i mean then again um, I don't know if you guys might have, you know, bigger faces or, you know, you guys are a little bit more on the heavier side and whatnot, but, you know, I'm not. And uh, I thought my face was actually quite large and, you know, this mask is just really, really, really big. And uh, this one in particular, uh, I actually liked it. You know, I, I thought this was one of the, the better designs uh, in comparison to, to the one that has uh, the off-white directional arrows or, uh, you know, the, the newer one that, you know, has off you know written like a like a squiggly print but um this print actually uh the the white it's like it's like painted on there you know and uh it actually does kind of interfere a little bit you know with with how you breathe so 
uh, I don't know why this was the cheapest one. I don't know if, you know, maybe people were like um, more familiar with it and, and knew of its uh, pros and cons ahead of time. I really don't know, but uh, you know, it's just things to consider. I live in Texas. It's gonna get really, really hot here uh, soon. And if uh, they don't let up on the, on the mask restrictions, you know, I'm just gonna have to make do with, with this or maybe, you know, an alternative. Uh, otherwise, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the purchase. I do have some other products and, you know, clothes, shoes, belts, whatever. But, um, you know, the mask was something that I didn't have in my uh, in my wardrobe. And I just wanted to share y'all in case, uh, you know, now that the prices have gone back up. You know, I think this mask now, it, it's on StockX as of today for like uh, 175 if I'm not mistaken. So if, if you're considering, you know, spending that much money, you know, plus the taxes, the shipping, and now that 3% uh, that processing fee that they have, uh, you know, you, you might want to, you know, uh, think twice about it. I don't know if the, any of the other, you know, designer masks, uh, Babe or Supreme or anything like that, you know, uh, fit any better. But, uh, you know, this is, you know, the, the fit is something that you're going to want to uh, consider. So hopefully this video helps and uh, good luck.